Hello, I'm joining you today from the historic rodeo grounds here at Wilder Ranch. Rodeos became a popular activity here at the ranch in the 1930s and 1940s and were started by D.R. Wilder, who was the part of the fourth generation of Wilders to grow up here on the ranch. D.R. was an accomplished uh, and very skilled cattle roper and he ended up teaming up with a man named Led Engelsman, who was a ranch hand who worked here. Led Engelsman went on to become a uh, competitive rodeo uh, contestant who won a number of competitions. And between them, they started a very popular uh, activity and stop along the rodeo circuit. Now the rodeo grounds here had a couple things going for them. One was its location and it, certainly helped that they were that Wilder Ranch was located in a convenient location for people who were already on the rodeo circuit because of the other rodeos that were taking place in Salinas and Livermore. Additionally, people would come here because it was a place you could practice at night. They ended up uh, stringing up old uh, string lights from a gas station and hooked that up to the power generators they had um, to add lighting here to that people could practice at night. Now the other uh, main reason to come here to experience the rodeos was to uh, consider buying one of the horses that the Wilders were breeding. They uh, had a very uh, well-known line of horses here and people would travel from states as far as Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas to check out the horses that were being bred and sold here at Wilder Ranch. But more than anything, people were out here to have some fun. And that's how things started. So um, in the 1930s, uh, it was cost you about $10 to come to a rodeo event. And if you got lucky, you might walk away with as much as $100. So uh, the stakes were, were real. Uh, but after World War II, things escalated and became more uh, high stakes. And when it used to be that uh, individual bets were limited at either five or 10 cents, so nickel and dime bets, things changed and uh, a winnings on an individual bet went from being something maybe like 40 cents to $40. And with that, tensions went, uh, went up and there were um, times when fights would break out and it wasn't the scene that the Wilders had originally intended. It um, was concern about these uh, possible contentious situations that would come from betting and also uh, the legality and liability that the Wilders decided to eventually disband the rodeos in the 1940s. So the next place I wanna show you is the building that is behind me here. You can see that's the Cowboy Cabin. The Cowboy Cabin was built for the family to enjoy and also to host guests that would be out here um, to visit the rodeo. So I'm gonna take you on a little walking tour through the cabin now. The Cowboy Cabin was built in 1932 and partially was built to house large gatherings. This was the only place at the ranch that the entire family could eat together. Between the two rooms here, you could fit as many as 40 people um, to eat in one place. So as we check it out, you can see it's kind of an open building now. There's uh, not much glass panes left in the windows, so it's open to the elements. And so this building would have been used for big gatherings, um, family dinners, celebrations. They would celebrate holidays out here. They'd have um, big family dinners, and they even celebrated Christmas out here. They'd bring out two trees, one for the family and one for the dogs. 
And they also use this building to entertain out-of-town guests who may have been here to visit the rodeo. So this would have been a popular occasion for many a cowboy and their horse to have their portraits taken. Now here we can see the original fireplace built from stone taken just behind us from the creek bed, which you probably can't see very well from here, but it's just where those trees are there, just about 20 yards away. I'm gonna take us into the back of the cabin. We can see old outhouse, the shooting range, which you can see was quite long, as well as the original barbecue pit. Now I'm going to take you in a little closer so you can see this horseshoe stamp. Dated at 19... 36, just to give you a, a little sense of the cowboy aesthetic that they were going for in building this cabin.